Hmm. Mr. Green, Vinny here. That pumpkin made a scary face at me. Oh, you must be mistaken. None of these pumpkins have been carved yet. Mister, I'm telling you. There's something wrong with your pumpkins, I say. Something very, very wrong. <laughs> now, son, if these pumpkins are wrong, I don't want to be right. Tilly and I picked them ourselves. Tell them, Tilly. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> yep. Nothing to be scared of. Help me! Oh, my gosh! This pumpkin's got crazy! <laughs> Uh, he's crazy. I'm not crazy! Okay, be right back. Nobody ever listens to Benny. Help! It's tearing me apart! I'm coming, brother! <laughs> <laughs> you got trick <laughs> Huh? Well, I came up with the prank, so actually, you got vexed and t rex Dang, that is a better catchphrase. <laughs> You got me. <sighs> I guess I'm just feeling a bit jumpy. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not falling for another one of your prayers. <sighs> <laughs> 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 Die, pumpkin! You die! Cricket, it's dead. What was that thing? This is just a guess, but it might have something to do with... <laughs> we can't hear you. There's hair in your mouth. I stole a modified alien substance from Big Tech and secretly used it to mutate Papa's pumpkins. But he was just so sad. I wanted to make him happy. You can't fault me for that. Yes, 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 yes we, we can! can. If this one attacks, I have a feeling the others will too. We could all be in danger. We gotta take care of this without Papa knowing so he'll stay happy. Will you help me? Oh, you want us to just help you covertly find and destroy a whole horde of alien pumpkin monsters all under the nose of our dear father? Yes. Okay. Rawr. All right, let's see, Mr. Reminald R. Remington. I see you have a middle initial. Very impressive. Thank you, Cra I mean, Mr. Green Jr. Excuse me, you've got a line. Please, ma'am, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <sighs> Forgive me. R Remold, was it? It's whatever you want it to be. Well, Remily, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Oh, geez, well, probably rambling on too much about my weaknesses or my indecisiveness. Ah, you're doing the thing, Remy! I like what I'm hearing. Welcome aboard. Nailed it. <laughs> Hiya! Can I get a large mocha latte, please? One large mocha latte coming up. Ah, now this is the boss laugh. Excuse me, boss? Quick cue, what's a mocha latte and how do I make one? What? You don't know? What'd I hire you for? I don't know. I thought you trained me or something. Uh, come on. Here. Whoa! Man, this isn't saving me work at all. I didn't think I'd have to train anyone. Wait, I got it. Congratulations, Benny. You are now head of employee training. Let me won't stalk the pastries. Benny won't tell me where they go. Guys, guys, remember, I'm the boss. This isn't supposed to be my problem. That's why I hired Kiki. Hmm? What's up? You're supposed to keep these two on task. Uh-huh, yeah, good work, you two. <laughs> Gabriella, you're supposed to keep Kiki from slacking. Oh, word? I thought I was just here to play pranks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a disaster. Wheezy, you'll fix this. Want a job, buddy? <laughs> so nice, got hired twice. What? You already hired me, bruh. Ah, nothing's working! Perhaps the problem is my employees don't see me as a boss, so I gotta look the part. You! Give me your suit! Why? Cause I'm the boss! Well, okay. Okay, listen up. The reason I've called this team meeting is somehow I, the boss, keep having to do all the work around here. Luckily, I've come up with a system that will solve everything! Right now, all the problems are funneling to me. It don't work. It's useless. It's chaos. But now, it's perfect. It's a circle? Exactly. You see, when one of you has a problem, you find where you are in the circle, follow the arrow, and pass it along. But won't it just loop back to the circle, Remy? Trust the circle. And the circle will trust you. Hello. Can I get a coffee now? Hmm. Hey, Gabriella, 
We need a coffee. Sure thing, Benny. Hey, Wheezy, we need a coffee. When it's a table, it turns. We need a coffee. Remy, uh, need coffee or whatever. Hey, Remy, okay, okay, okay. yes. it's working beautifully. Um, uh. And finally, meet your new little buddy, Chase. <laughs> uh, hey, Chase, I'm your big buddy, Cricket. <laughs> I think my buddy's defective. You gotta give me another kid. Uh, nope. Chase is yours till 3 p.m. But... Okay, everybody. We got craft time in the Boomba Room. Move it! <laughs> Do it for Mamaroni. Chase! Who wants to go draw a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> mm. What's wrong, Emma? I want to put googly eyes on my painting. But we ran out of glue. Uh, not to worry, little lady. For the paint, provides. Observe. Whoa, they stuck to the wet paint. Cool. Tilly, you are amazing. Ho <laughs> ho, Emma. You are correct. Looks like you two are getting along well. Cricket, how you doing? Oh. Chase, you stop making paper spitballs <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, my glasses. Dang it all, I'm your big buddy, and that means you've got to do what I say. So you and I are going to go back to that table, sit quietly, and think about the pizza and possibly chicken wings that await us if we get along. What do you say to that? He <laughs> <laughs> glitter bombed me. I hear you. <laughs> oh, you want to tussle? Let's tussle. <sighs> Tilly. Hi, Cricket. How's it going with your little buddy? He refused to sit in time out, so I had to fasten him to a cabinet with a bunch of pipe cleaners. I'm completely outmatched. How do you train your kid to be so good? Oh, she has to do this. <laughs> Cricket, the only advice I can give is something you know better than anyone. Sometimes the only way to sue the wild beast is by taming its heart. Whoa. I've got to write that one down. <laughs> taming his heart? What's that even mean? I'll tell you and your riddle. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, brother. Squishy! Squishy! Free Splishy Day, here we come! What in the Sam heck is a Splishy? Oh, Grandma, it's only the world's most perfect combination of ice, sugar, and chemicals. Those are the magical makings of the Splishy. Look, there's the sipping snack! Hurry up and park! Shucks, the lot's full. I suppose we could just meet you kids inside and... They're gone. Huh? Uh, we're gonna find some parking and be right back. If we don't return, Avengers! Wow. Look at all these new flavors. Nitro berry, mental melon, purple. Oh, mama, here we come. <laughs> Hold it! Can't you read? Yes, but I choose not to. No shoes, no shirt, no service. No shoes means no splishies. Oh, chum, I am Cricket Green. I never wear shoes. Kid. I don't make up the rules, I just follow them. Clean the bathroom three times a day, mop the floors every hour. But if you mop the floor so often, what's it matter what I wear on my feet? Uh, because that's the rule, and no one is above the rules. <laughs> Listen, uh, Clark, not wearing shoes is sort of my deal, and I love splishies. <laughs> Perhaps we can strike a bargain? Oh, there's one thing I'd like. For you to leave! All right, come on, Tilly, let's get out of here. Uh. Sorry, brother, but I have shoes on and a me-sized mug to fill. Fine! Who wants a free, delicious, sugary, rainbow-colored squishy anyway? <sighs> I've circled this block five times. There isn't an open spot anywhere. What about that lot? Five dollars for parking? That's highway robbery! No way we're parking there! Good for you, son. You know how much I admire cheapness in a man. It's not the money, it's the principle. Why should I pay that swindler when there's a free spot out there just waiting to be found? We just gotta keep looking. It's so unfair that you didn't get a free splishy, brother. Guess you'll have to share some of mine. Sister! Nope! Stop right there! Aw, oh, man, what do you want? Everyone knows that sharing splishies is strictly forbidden by the sip and snack rules and would result in forfeit of said free beverage. What? It's just sharing. Why is that against the rules? It's basic hygiene, man. Not that I expect you to understand. You know, the easiest way to end all this would be to just put on some shoes. Yeah, sure, it'd be easy to bend a Clark's will. Or it would be even easier if I found a loophole. 
<laughs> oh, Clark, look. No feet on your precious clean floor. No, no! Now your disgusting feet are at face level. That's even worse. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Goo -goo -wah. I'm just a baby who doesn't need shoes. Oof. This is pathetic. And for the record, you make an ugly baby. Tell back to my mom! All right, Clark, you got me. Boom. Shoes. Ugh, finally. Now, was that so hard? No. No, it was not. Hmm? Wait a minute. Hey! Your tum Hold it! Those are not shoes. You just painted sneakers on your feet. There's something covering my feet, isn't there? That's basically what shoes do. Huh? Look, kid, this isn't up to me. Check it. These are the official sip and snack rules. Everyone else has to follow them. Why can't you? Because these rules are stupid! I mean, look at some of these. No cartwheels, no skipping, no gum chewing, no excessive mm -hmm. talking, yep. no coin flipping, uh -huh. no hand holding, yeah. no mm -hmm. mouth breathing. Yep. What is wrong with you? If you want a free splishy, you know what you need to do. <laughs> Rule number 48, no sulking! Excuse me, do you two have a minute to help save the environment? Do you have a minute to help us save the environment? You don't have to make fun of me. You could just ignore me like everyone else does. Wait, what station are you two looking for? The chartreuse line. We're trying to recycle this light bulb. So the legends are true after all. I never thought there would be someone so brave and valiant to attempt such a journey. We're just doing our part. Have you been there before? No. I've always dreamed of it, but I never have a Saturday that works for me. Come, I can show you the way. Why is there a torch? We have arrived. <gasps> this is the ancient subway used to travel between worlds. Oh, that's what Chartreuse looks like. Once the train comes, take it to the end of the tracks and cross the Bridge of Sorrows. You'll make the rest of the journey on foot. I must warn you. The road ahead gets much worse. Why? Why is it designed like that? I leave you with this wisdom. Over 10,000 pandas a day will benefit if you donate merely $20. Oh, no, sorry, I already donated. Then my work here is done. Good luck, brave heroes. No. <laughs> What is this place, Till? Looks like we're in the industrial part of town. And this must be the Bridge of Sorrows. The GPS says the E-Way Center is just across this bridge. Let's uh, hurry! Tilly, wait! I think this bridge might be unstable. What's that, Papa? Ah! Tilly! Ah! Huh? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Uh ah! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't worry, Papa! I got you! Tilly, the bulb! It's gonna pull out the river! Ah! That was close. Papa, that was amazing. Where'd you learn to do that? Hacky Sack National Championship 1998. Okay, Till, let's take this one little baby step at a time. The E-Way Center closes in 15 minutes. Now's no time for a nap, Papa. We gotta hurry. <laughs> there it is! We're here. Just gotta find a way in. Wait, why are there just mounds and mounds of garbage? Where's the recycling center? No, 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 no! What? We're on the wrong side of the dump. The E-Way Center is on the other side. But they closed at three. That's in ten minutes! <laughs> Papa, step out of it! We ain't got time! Well, well, well. What do we have here? You two made a mistake coming to this part of town. Now, hand over everything you got. You want what I got? You want what I got? Here's what I got! Take it! What the? No, 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 no way, man! That's a compact fluorescent light bulb! I'd never be able to recycle it! This guy's crazy! We gotta get out of here! Yeah, bro. No. Well done, Papa. Maybe if we hurry, we can still... Uh, Papa? It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. The dump is right here, Tilly. It'd be the easiest thing in the world to just throw it away. No! Let go, Tilly! Papa, we're better than that! We have to find...
found a way to do the right thing. What does that even mean? What's one bulb gonna do against all the world's pollution? It ain't just about the bulb, it's about us. We can't quit when something gets hard because if everyone did that, the world would be a crummy place. There is so much good we can do, but it starts with us right now. <sighs> Dang it, Till, you're right. I'm sorry. Keep it together. Let's finish this. Come on! Can I help you two? Give it to him. Good sir, we have journeyed through fire to bring you this. Okay, that it? Uh, yes. Great. Well, that's 3 p.m. Quitting time. The Green family makes a killer trivia team. Bill knows science from working on the farm. Tilly's a well-read expert in literature and grandma's a history buff after living so long. And I used to be a roadie, so I've got music covered. Plus, you got me. Oh, Cricket. Yes, we sure do, kiddo. We sure do. All right, let's see what category I can take. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Geography. Guess that's me. Geography is a bit of a tough one, brother. You sure you got it? Don't worry. I'm a whiz at math. Okay, first question. Who wrote the classic novel, Little Women? Louisa May Alcott. And the first question of the night goes to the Greens. Oh, oh, very, very, good. Good. very good. Moving right along, during what month does the winter solstice occur? December. It's the month with the least daylight. Correct. Looks like the Greens are on a roll. Wow, great job, Mr. Green. Looks like they're the team to beat, huh, Mr. Gagorn? All right, next category is geography. Here we go. What is the capital of Mexico? The answer is M. Come again? The capital's the first letter. Therefore, the capital of Mexico is M. Oh, oh. no, no, no. It's Mexico City. And right you are, Remy. Cricket? Wow. Just wow. Dang, I was real close. Hey, son, what if you let us handle the geography questions? But that's my category. If I can't do that, how will I help the team? Well, you could press the buzzer. That's oh, a great that's idea. idea. You, Cricket. Ha! Uh, Wait a minute. Y'all think I'm dumb or something? Absolutely no, 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 no. not. The nerve. Look, I admit, I'm not the sharpest spoon in the bucket, but I've got some real smarts in my noggin. Hey, it's all right, kiddo. I'm sure a question you know will pop up, but for now, just focus on the buzzer, okay? Hmm. I know I know stuff. I just gotta look deep inside my mind and find it. Huh? Ha! I'm inside my head? And this must be my daggum brain! <laughs> Cricket, what are you doing with that? <laughs> Cricket! Well, looks like it's getting pretty full. Should we send the signal? Uh, just schedule it for later. I'll never get sick of this song. This place is amazing. But how am I going to find... Ah, excuse me. Can I get some help? Buzz off. Can't you see I'm... It's the boss. I never thought I'd ever tip the man. Is it us? <laughs> Hi. What the heck are you guys? We're your brain crickets. Crickets for short. You think it, we make it happen. How can I be of service? Well, I need to go see all my knowledge. Sure thing. Follow me right this way. Welcome to your knowledge bank. That's a lot of knowledge. And you're adding to it every day. Ooh, here comes some new knowledge now. Ah, what are those? Factoids. Each one is a little fact you've learned. M is not the capital of Mexico. Hey, that's right, because I learned Remy knows the capital of Mexico. Oh man, I've got to have better stuff than that, right? See, there's this trivia night thing going on, and I've got to impress my family with some big-brained knowledge. Hmm, we're going to need some help, but I know just who to call. Boss, speak the first fact you ever learned. Dogs can't spit. Oh yeah! I remember learning that. Spitty's been here longer than any of us. You won't find a more qualified brain guy. Dogs can't spit. You're saying my real smarts are in the vaults? 
Wait, how can I understand you? Dogs can't spit. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Now let's hit those vaults. I've got to prove to my family that I'm not dumb. Speaking of which, boss, I believe you're needed back outside. Cricket! Cricket! I know this one! Hit the buzzer! Cricket! <laughs> the answer is 1903! Take that, you dirty witch! <laughs> What the heck are you doing over there, boy? Don't be hard on Cricket. He probably got confused. Here, son, this is the button part. You gotta do this motion on the top. I know how dang buzzer works, Dad. I gotta find those smarts quick. <laughs> Guys, come on. We don't got time to waste. Right, Spitty? Dogs can't spit. And then Duck Perkins says, I don't like fishing. I love fishing. Ha! Hmm. That guy's a real hoot. I wish I could be his fishing buddy. You're dependable. You should just ask him. Pfft, yeah, if I wanted to get rejected. <laughs> what? Mom's right, Dad. Asking works. I asked Remy to help me launch a chicken into space. And look at us now. You should be direct. Hmm, you're right, Cricket. I need to prove how dependable I am so Doug Perkins will ask me to be his fishing buddy. I did not say that. I'm a do it. Okay. Doug Perkins! Bill Green! I was just fixing something around the house and I thought I'd be a dependable neighbor and see if there's something I can fix for you. As a matter of fact, there is! You really saved my behind, Bill Green. Come on in! Don't mind if I do. Yes. So, what needs fixing? A squeaky door, a flickering light bulb? Actually, my whole apartment needs rewiring. <laughs> Well, I've never done the wiring before, but I'm sure it's the same basic rules as fish, and the key is patience. Right you are, Bill! Oh, wow. Everything okay up there, Bill? Absolutely. Thanks, Bill. Good to have you around. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Still working real hard on those wires for you, Doug. Real, real hard. Are you working hard or hardly working? Ah! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Everything's fine. I will fix it. Just stay right there. No. Dependable no, Bill no, is no. on it. Dang it, Bill. God. Breaking a man's ceiling is not dependable. Okay, there's still time to fix this. <laughs> hey, Bill. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think this is working out. I'm gonna call a professional. No! You put a hole in my ceiling! Ah! And then I broke a hole in his ceiling, and then I broke his table, and then he told me he needs to call a professional, and now there's no way he thinks I'm dependable! What do I do? You're in deep, Father. Clearly, the only way out of this is to pose yourself as the repairman, fix everything you broke in the first place, earn back his trust and respect, and reveal yourself as yourself to his delight. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, it wouldn't. But would it work? No, it wouldn't! Ah, you must be the repairman I ordered. Pleased to meet you, Mr... William. William Yellow. I love that. You don't mind if I call you Will, do you? Even better. I'll have everything fixed in a jiffy. You just hang tight. Huh, that guy really knows his way around. What a professional. <gasps> wow, Will, you sure got this place in order. It was a real mess, but cleaning up the wires is like tying a fishing line. We got the bass on the line knot, the captain's hook, and the double friendship knot. Your wiring is not going to be bothering you anymore. Well, may I be the first to say, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough. I was in a bit of a bind after my neighbor botched the repair job. No, oh, it wasn't that bad. You saw what a doozy it was up there. No, no, no. I needed someone dependable like you. Well, it's funny you say that because... Huh? Uh... Bill Green, you dressed up like a repairman to sneak into my house to fix a mess you made? Yes. Get out! Hey, you order some repairs? I'll come back another time. Sorry you blew it, Mr. Green. Thanks, Remy. Did you at least learn a lesson? Never trust a cricket scheme. That is a solid learn. Or you gotta be honest with your friends, even the ones you haven't made yet. I guess you're right. <clears throat> oh, Dad, I know what'll cheer you up. Fishing! Yeah, fishing always makes everything right. Who needs friends? All right, just pretend you can hear Dad and you'll make it through this. Oh. Who am I kidding? You're in a lose-lose situation, Cricket. If Dad finds out you can't hear, you're in trouble. And if you mess up these chores, you're in trouble too. Oh, shoot, is he saying something? 
Phew, forget it. Maybe I'm worrying too much. I get by without listening on a daily basis. Ah, but he wants something. Uh... Right. Tools. Well, this should be easy. Does he want this tool or this one? How am I supposed to know which one he wants? Come on, Cricket, you're taking too long. Just pick something. Here's a wrench, Father. Cause, uh, there's nothing a good wrench can't fix, right? Hmm. <laughs> All right, only two chores left. Looks like this one has something to do with the chickens. Seems simple enough. <laughs> Easy. That looks serious. Must be important. Oh, I'll read his lips. Go shake up the rooster. Go shake up the rooster. Huh. Must be some ancient farming technique. Cricket, you've solved another mind puzzle. <laughs> Cricket, what on earth are you doing? I told you, don't wake up the rooster. I may have read his lips wrong. Uh-oh, he looks confused. Can't let him get too suspicious. Time to distract. I just don't understand. <laughs> That mean old rooster tried to pick me and I, I almost got hurted. My baby boy. Come on, let's move on to something else. I am a genius. Before I knew it, moving day was upon us. Okay, girl, take care of him on the ride. See you guys at Ma's house. <sighs> okay, kids, time to hit the road. You doing okay, son? I, uh, yeah, ready for a new adventure. Atta boy. Yeah. Cricket, it's me, your sister. I've moved on to the final stage of grief, acceptance. So you better kiss the country goodbye. Well, Cricket, you ready to go? Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> what, Cricket? Poor schmucks won't last a week. Cricket, slow down. No. I thought we agreed the city would be fun. I don't care. I don't want to turn into city cricket. What does that even mean? <laughs> Cricket! <laughs> Son, this is happening. You can't hide out here forever. Just talk to me. I can't leave the country. It's part of me. I don't know who I am if I'm not here. If I leave, who am I? Oh, I know what you mean. The country is a part of me, too. But leaving doesn't change that, and it doesn't change you. The country is always going to be a part of you. It's where you grew your roots, and no matter where you go, you'll take a little bit of the country with you. How's that sound? <laughs> and then he gave you the dirt and the joy. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, buddy. Just cry it out. Oh, cricket. Yeah, hey, Dad, what's up? <gasps> oh, my gosh, it's my dirt jar! Oh, Dad, I love you, I love you, I love you! Oh, just look at it. Absolutely stunning. Now to take a whiff of that restorative country air. Wait, no, you shouldn't... That ain't my dirt jar. What's going on? Uh... <sighs> I'm real sorry, Cricket. I was cleaning and accidentally broke the real one. I should have told you about it when it happened. Oh, it's okay. The country's a part of me, right? I don't need a jar to tell me that. Hey, you know what? I just got an idea. What if you and I took a little road trip? Dirt jar ain't gonna fill itself. <laughs> hmm? Hey, uh, Cricket, come here a sec. Yeah, what's up? I just had the craziest idea. Hey, everyone! Did you hear the news? 
So you know that weird country family from down the block? The ones that caused so much trouble, like that time they... Let a bear loose in the sewer. Beat you in a motorcycle race? Oh! Dropped a giant watermelon 50 stories on live TV. Erased my brain in a digital realm. You know, our neighbors. Well, guess what? The Greens are moving back to the country. Hmm. I still can't believe it. You guys are really leaving, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. But the plan was always to stay at Ma's until we were able to get back on our feet. And after living here in Big City for a while, I'd say we're back on our feet. So when I saw our old country farm up for sale, I knew it was time to go back home. It seems like just yesterday Cricket was terrorizing me on a daily basis, and I hated your entire family's guts. <laughs> oh. I'm really gonna miss you guys. We're gonna miss you too, Gloria. You've become like a third child to me. Speaking of children, where's Cricket? <laughs> we back home yet? Ah, shoot, came out too early. Boy, you're supposed to be helping us pack. Oh, but Father, I did pack. Myself and Remy. Hi, Mr. Green. I'm all ready to go. Ready to go where? My parents said I could stay with you guys in the country for a while, like a study abroad program. Cricket told me you said it'd be okay. Oh, he did, did he? Did I not tell you? I'm kind of pretty sure I did. Cricket did not tell me. But I suppose there's plenty of room on the farm. We'd be happy to have you stay with us, Remy. Yippee, Skippy! Indeed, but what'll Vasquez do without you as his ward? He's using the time off to catch up on his hobbies. Oh, come back, Master Remy! Come back! Good for him. Hey, Ma, would you mind giving us a hand? We're on a time crunch. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Uh, new glasses? No, I always wear these. Thanks for noticing. Why are you sniffling? Why are you hounding me? Don't you got places to be? <laughs> Rats. Grandma, you're sniffling because you're sad. Don't worry. We'll come back to visit you. Oh, I know. I'm fine. It's just these dang tear ducks betraying my will. <laughs> Y'all know I'd come with you, but it's my duty to stay here with my family home. Besides, I gotta make sure that one don't tank my cafe investment. Hey! Mama's ready to move to the country! Mama! Hey, Nance, you know, you're welcome to live in the farmhouse. You don't need to lug that big old trailer around. I appreciate it, Bill, but I like things as is with our separate living arrangements. Works for me. Well, I think it's about time to hit the road. You kids ready to say goodbyes? I think I am. Just got to get one last look. Wow, we sure did make a lot of memories in this place. That we did, brother. That we did. Goodbye, Goodbye Grandma's house. house. Goodbye, Goodbye, big, big city. city. Goodbye, Tilly. We sure will miss you. Oh, they said they'll miss you too, Cricket. Ah, uh, hey, I better be next if y'all still want to leave in one piece. Mm. Y'all better call. Yes, of course, Mom. All right. you move back to the country, so I thought I'd bring you a welcome gift. Oh boy, worms! These can be used for composting or as fishing bait. Thanks, good old Joe. Good old Bill. Good old Joe. Good old Bill. Good Here's old the toast, Joe. Remy. Let's go! Just look at it, Remy. A world of fun right at our fingertips. Wait, where's the fun? Are we, like, renting a mobile arcade or hiring a troop of acrobats to entertain us? Oh, no. Don't you see, Remy? This is the fun. Oh. I don't see it. Well, how about I show ya? In the country, there's the space and the freedom to embrace. My house rule number one. Anything can be fun. Really, Cricket? Anything? Yes, sir. You see that rusty wagon? We can ride it like a dragon. We're off to a real quick start. You ready? Here's the best part. <laughs> There's no reason to be down. Just take a look around. Like this plain old dirty pig? Get on top, he'll do a jig. <laughs> Don't you see? we just begun. I do see. Anything can be fun. That's right. Anything can be fun. Now 
Well, it's put you to the test. Here's some sap from a tree. I'll use it to climb the wall with glee. How about these chili peppers? We can challenge our spice receptors. <laughs> what about these stinky old beets? Swinging them around is pretty neat. What about this slimy toe? We can dress it up in tiny clothes. What about these worms from good old Joe? The perfect thing to grab and throw. Because anything can be fun. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Cricket, I just threw worms at a parental adult figure. That's not fun. No, Remy. Remember, anything can be fun. Boys? I'll prove it to you. Watch this. Cricket, don't even think about it. <laughs> Cricket? Okay, Remy. Time for the fun part. Oh, run! Hey! My first cow milking. It's the perfect way to see if I've got country grit. This is going to be a big day for you. Just remember, farming is hard work, so you got to be ready for anything. Oh, I'm ready. Bring it on! <laughs> Ew! What is that? Oh, that's just barn smell. I find it rather pleasing. <sighs> I'd put it in a candle if I could. Morning, friends! Good morning, animals! Ooh, uh, AC everywhere is the bathroom in here. All right, Remy. Welcome to Cow Milking 101. This beautiful ray of sunshine is Miss Debbie. Uh, big. Uh, nice to meet you, ma'am. Okay, Farmer Remy, you've got this. One thing of milk, please. Um, milk, please? Hello? Do I talk into this? Huh, I guess she doesn't understand English. Remy, she's a cow. Of course she understands English. But you can't just tell her what to do. You gotta help her out. Like this. That's it, Miss Debbie. Great job. That looks easy enough. <laughs> Okay? Uh, am I allergic to hay or does it always itch this much? Yes. <laughs> you know, if this is too hard, you could just head back to the house and... No, no! Uh, I want to help! I've just got to unlock my country grit. What am I doing wrong? Perhaps I have taken for granted my implicit connection to Miss Debbie. How about you try bonding with her first? Brushing her, cleaning her stall, mixing her feed? Oh, I love to pamper! Miss Debbie and I will be best bovine buddies in no time! He's learning. Take it in, Remy. Welcome to Patty's Diner, the beating heart of downtown Smalton. It's got everything. Fine dining, live entertainment, fascinating locals, and there's even a gift shop. Ooh, I've been meaning to get a country souvenir for Vasquez. I'm gonna go check it out. You do you, Remy. Should I try the triple bacon burger, or should I go healthy and do the double bacon burger? Grandma, you must meet the owner, Patty. She makes the best blueberry pie. The best? But uh, nothing beats my classic homemade pie, right? Hey, uh, those are for paying customers only. Patty! Long time no see, Tilly. You still remember our handshake? How could I forget? Ring, ring. Hello? Wink. <laughs> It's good to see the Green family again. And pardon my manners, Tilly, I didn't know you had a twin sister. <laughs> oh, Patty, this is my grandma. You've got some wonderful grandkids. Can I arm wrestle you for them? Ah, I'm just kidding. Then we'll destroy this woman. All right, lay it on me. What are we eating today? I'll start. I think I'll try the... Up, 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 Wayne! As soon as I saw y'all come in, I went ahead and started making your usual. An open-faced liverwurst sandwich. Extra cold. Oh, my usual. <laughs> you remembered. You have a usual? I want one. Hey, Patty Cakes, my usual, please. You don't have a usual. And if you ever call me Patty Cakes again, you never will. Okay, what else we having? That's tummy talk for one slice of blueberry pie, please. Ah, starting with dessert. I love it. Miss Patty, another customer just ordered the last slice of blueberry pie. Ain't that a shame. Well, let's go home and I'll whip you up your favorite. Oh, heck, for you, Tilly, I'll bake a new pie from scratch. Splendid. It'll be worth the wait. And what can I get for you, ma'am? I've lost my appetite. And I'll have the meat witch, a.k.a. my usual. Got it. One meat witch. Coming right up. Yeah, it's not a usual if she has to write it down. Son, having a usual isn't all it's cracked up to be. When I first came here, I ordered a liverwurst sandwich, and I never had the heart to tell Patty I hated it. They just kept coming and coming. Now I'm locked in. Well, I'd be upset, too, if my usual was liverwurst. But a meat witch is meat 
fantastic. I'll be fine. Sure you will, son. Sure you will. Uh, let's see. Valentino, Vance, Vanessa, Vasco. What? No Vasquez? Darn! Well, no matter. There's plenty of stuff here for me to choose from. I'm sure I'll find the perfect gift for Vasquez. Hmm. This keychain is perfect for holding my keys. This mug is perfect for holding liquids. This pen is perfect for defending you from bad guys. Oh, there are just too many good choices. Here you go. One meat witch. Mm, my usual looks mighty fine. And Tilly, I'm gonna get started on your blueberry pie. Oh, I can hardly wait. Patty's pies are nothing short of a spiritual experience. She might just be my favorite baker. Your favorite baker, huh? You know, since you love her pie so much, I'm uh, gonna go see how she does it. They're gonna be friends. Wayne, you seen my rolling pin? Huh? I don't know you, and I don't like you. Okay. Now, my Tilly seems to be mistaken about who makes the best pie. Okay. So I challenge you to a pie bake-off. Then we'll see whose pie she likes more. Are you sure you want to challenge me? The only reason you won all them competitions is because I wasn't there. But I'm here now, so preheat your oven. You're on. <laughs> How's your usual treating you, sir? So good. I'll leave you to it then. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't you gonna ask me about my usual? I've never seen you order a usual. In fact, I've never seen you. I'm new. My name's Wayne. Uh, well then, Wayne. It's short for duh, Wayne. Right. I'll have another meat witch, AKA my usual. One meat. Da, 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 da. The whole point of a usual is that you don't have to write it down. You just remember what I want, okay? Don't. Don't write it. Wayne. Uh, I'm just gonna draw a picture. Uh -huh. Look, man, if you're confused, just think. Meat, witch, meat, witch, witch, meat, meat, witch. Got it? Okay. Great. Is he gone? I gotta get this out of my mouth. <laughs> Gross, Dad. Look at that, family! Tomorrow is Tilly's coming of age coronation ceremony. And now won't it to be perfect? Wow, Tilly's coronation. My little girl's growing up so fast. Almost makes me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I say it look alive, Bill. Not like a blubbering baby. I'm putting you two in charge of decorations. Think you're up to the task? You better believe it. After all, we're divorced but still a team. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Cricket! Remy! I don't know what y'all are doing over there, but you two are on photo duty. <laughs> you got it, Grandma. Remington Green Photography will immortalize all your coronation memories. This is a classic no one told Remy anything situation because, uh, everyone keeps saying coronation, but don't you mean coronation? No, Remy. Coronation. One of the most sacred traditions we have, where a young country girl is ushered into society as a country woman by performing the time honored ritual of her ancestors. And tomorrow, it'll be Tilly's turn. Did someone say Tilly's turn? Who's ready to get corn? <laughs> Tilly's coming in red hot. That's my sister. I know her. I have been encased in a cocoon. And tomorrow, I merge a big yes. lady <laughs> butterfly. I love the enthusiasm, Tilly. But we won't be needing any of this stuff. Why ever not? Because coronations ain't about us. All this stuff will distract. Ooh. It'll distract folks from what the ceremony's really about, which is honoring tradition. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Check, check, and check. This is lighting department to camera department. Eagle One is on the move, and we're going for rehearsal. What was that, Cricket? Eagle One is on the move. What? Turn around. Eagle One is on the move. Film Tilly and Grandma. I thought I was Eagle One. No, you're Falcon Three. Stop yelling at me. Ah. Just get a shot of them at the gazebra. Now, Tilly, I want to make sure you fully understand how serious your coronation is. It all starts here, with the sacred green family artifacts contained in this chest. It first belonged to your great-great-great-great-grandmother, Elisha Green. Wow, 
I can't wait to join the ranks of our green family ancestors. Yes, that's good to hear. Now, first things first, you'll be wearing the same traditional coronation dress like every green woman before you did. Well, I do love a good puffy dress. I was actually up all night deciding what to wear for the ceremony, and I chose this smelly tracksuit. Oh, a tracksuit. Huh? Fleshy. I really wanted to go big. It is my coronation, after all. Then it is. But, uh... Let's move on to the next artifact, shall we? The ceremonial ear of corn. Shucking it symbolizes your emergence from a youthful husk into country society. What a lovely metaphor. Oh, but hear me out. Nothing says emergence like an explosion of popcorn. And the best part is, it'll make a delightful snack afterwards. Oh, interesting. Popcorn at a corporation? Is she nuts? So, well, and don't forget, you got the whole Green Woman's Oath to recite. It contains generations of wisdom from your ancestors. Actually, I was thinking, instead of just repeating what's already written, I should do my own speech in the form of spoken word. In a form of what now? Metamorphosis. I am a chrysalis. Really, I just about had it. Butterflies are neato. Put cheese in my burrito. It's like a metaphor for my no, daughter. Keep it She's together. A get it, get it, get it. Got it, got it, got it. Of course, during the real thing, I'll be on roller skates. <laughs> Moving on. The last and most important ritual is being bestowed with the coronation corn crown. Not sure if that'll fit over my helmet. Safety first. <laughs> Tilly, your ideas are very unique, but they don't have any place in a coronation. Look. When I was your age, I didn't get to do what I wanted either, because that's just how traditions are. That doesn't sound very Tilly-like. I think I'd like to do things my own way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta wrangle all those butterflies. Yep. Well, here goes seven generations of family tradition down the drain. The country cannibal catastrophe. We can hide in here. The last place these farmers would look would be inside a barn. What are they gonna do to us? Not much. Just take a little nibble. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Courtney, tell me when I can look. You got it, babe. <laughs> How can y'all be afraid of this stuff? It's so corny and stupid. Dudes make up looking like they just smothered him in cake frosting. <laughs> Whatever, Tina. You're the one who's weird for being incapable of experiencing human emotion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all are tripping. <laughs> <gasps> Gather round, family! It's supper time! Dan, Dan, get us some Din Din! Don't hog it all! Baby Vingus gotta eat too! <laughs> what are you kids doing? Why ain't you all working? Come on, boss! It's dead in here right now. We're just passing the time. Yeah, we haven't had a delivery all day. We do now! Big delivery fee too! Cause this pizza's going all the way out to the country. The, the country? country? Yeah. The country. Just like in the movie. No way. I'm out. Lol. I'll do it, you babies. What is wrong with you, Tina? You could die. Come on. I'm not gonna let some dumb movie scare me out of a big tip. Boop. Well, I'm out. Y'all be easy. We're never gonna see her again. Come on! Why won't it go faster? I can't control how fast the delivery person is driving, Grandma. Try harder! <laughs> That's not how it works. I still don't get why y'all ordered a pizza all the way from Big City. Well, no pizza out here in the country can beat Mama Roni's. It's ridiculously good, Miss Green. It's rich, buttery crust. Thick pepperoni, the subtle use of marinara. Easy now, uh -huh. easy. You're getting lost in the sauce again. Psh. Pizza's pizza. Mama Roni's ain't no different from a slice at the gas station. What? Hey, there he is. Is. You take that back right now. We're gonna have some problems. I hold two mothers dear in my life. You and Mama Roni. The race is a lot closer than you'd think. Sheesh, okay. I still think it's crazy, but y'all do y'all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some chores done before dark. I'll assist, Mama. It'll help work out my appetite for the impending cheese. Where the pizza at? I can't believe that dumb movie scared everyone out of making this delivery. Pass on a giant tip? Couldn't be me, honey. All right, how much farther is this place? Oh, what? No reception? Oh, that's great. Whatever. I can find this place on my own. Be there and back in a snap. The pizza is within range. Come on, people. Look, I think that's them. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Mm -hmm. 
Wait, what are they doing? Oh, look, they're coming back. They just missed the driveway. Hooray! Oh, they're on. still going. The ding bit's lost! Oh, so dark out here. I can't see anything. <laughs> Was that a person? <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> Can't believe that movie has me seeing things. You know, it's all. Cricket, what are you doing? I was trying to help the pizza girl find our driveway, but she crashed. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I know. I hope the pizza's all right. Mm. The delivery girl. I, I meant the delivery girl. <laughs> all right, let's go see if she's okay. Pizza time. Cricket. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I'm not sticking around to find out. <laughs> Looks like I'm walking. I didn't come all this way for nothing. I'm still making that delivery. Look, it's the car. Hope the driver's okay. Let's get a closer look. Hmm? Hello. She ain't inside. <laughs> she couldn't have gotten far. Fan out. Find her. <gasps> Starting to get pretty hungry. Stay strong, Remy. Just visualize the glorious moment when we finally get our pizza. <laughs> I can almost taste it. <sighs> Come on, Tina. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Country people ain't gonna eat you. That was just a movie. <gasps> yep. When we find that delivery girl, I'm gonna feast. I mean, that's good. And I'll rip it apart with my bare hands and scarf it down. <laughs> <laughs> are gonna eat me. <laughs> I prefer to use a fork and knife. Slice it up in a little nibbles. Savor the flavor. No, 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 no. Hey, everybody, she's over here. Oh! <gasps> 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 Oh, intriguing. Huh? Wow. Welcome to Outpost Infinity, a totally customizable virtual reality. Within this game, we can build our house and do all our Christmas Eve traditions. And the best part is, we'll all be together. Including me! Remy, is that you? Hi, Mr. Green. I've earned tons of XP and have all the upgrades. I play this game a lot. Cricket, I just don't know about this. How are we supposed to do our Christmas Eve traditions here? This is nothing like being home together. You're forgetting, Dad. This is a building game. All we gotta do is open the options menu. Options menu? And then building is easy. What kind of witchcraft is this? Making things out of thin air? Where's the fun in building without any power tools? I didn't even get to use a miter saw. Speaking of tools, what kind of tool is this? <laughs> Me a flamethrower. Hey, watch it, Alice. You're not the only one with a weapon. There's no need for fighting, because I definitely win. Wait a minute. A flamethrower? A spear? Tilly has a giant axe? What kind of a game is this? One where we must use both our wits and courage to fight off boredom. <laughs> fight off boredom, because it's such a peaceful world. And nothing says peace like building with these fancy building tools. This hammer's a lot bigger than any I've ever used. Now let's finish building our house so we can get to those family traditions. Building tools, eh? What a world. My axe will only be used for chopping wood. Hey. Remy, come here. If my dad finds out what kind of game this really is, he'll never get on board with us doing our Christmas Eve traditions in here. That's why I need you to patrol the perimeter and keep any you-know-whats away from my family. Oh, Cricket, my Cricket, it would be an honor and a privilege. Come on, Cricket, let's get to building. <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds good. And voila, home sweet home. This looks nothing like our house in real life. I'm sure it does. See? I guess so. Now let's finish recreating our house so we can get to those family traditions. This sounds like a deal to me. Did somebody say deal? Hey, kids, would you like to purchase some cool downloadable content? Customize your appearance with Santa suits, elf ears, or the new candy cane cannon to deal. What is this thing? Uh, that's Mr. Extras. He's an annoying in-game feature that tries to sell you useless game add-ons. Now you get, get you! Hey, stop! How dare you scare this sweet little scamp? Oh, it's 
especially when he's all alone on Christmas Eve. Would you like to learn about the spirit of Christmas, Mr. Extras? I would love to. Sell you some custom stockings. Just give me your parents' credit card number. Uh, we'll work on that. What in Santa's beard was that? Uh, Remy must be having the tummy troubles. I'll go check on him. <laughs> you doing okay out here? That's a lot of monster guts on you. Yeah, but at least the Christmas update makes it look like tinsel. More festive, less gruesome. Okay, but you got everything under control? For now, but it's only gonna get harder. What? Why's that? We didn't play long enough for me to show you before, but Outpost Infinity is a defense game. The longer we spend in this world, the more monsters are gonna show up. Oh my gosh, I gotta get my family to complete our Christmas Eve tradition soon or else... We're gonna be missile toast. My dearest Andromeda. Hi! This is your old pal Tilly, reporting in from the country. It's my first week here, and the weather is lovely. You can even see the whole galaxy at night. Trust me when I say that it is beautiful. I miss you so much. And that is with 17 O's, which you know I do not use lightly. I've been feeling a bit lonely without you, and unsure of what to do about it. So this morning, I decided to head to the woods to get some friendly advice. You see, here in the country, the woods are full of wise creatures. But for this problem, I needed advice from the wisest creature of them all. Oh, ancient Mr. Oak Tree, please enjoy this gift of filtered water from the house. Though. I admit, this isn't a selfless visit. I come seeking something. We know what you seek, Tilly. You wish to hear tree gossip. Oh, well, actually, I... Speak to her of the haircut. Ah, yes. Magnolia Tree has a new haircut. Leaves down to the forest floor. It is quite silly. And it makes us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate you guys. Actually, what I really need today is to ask you a question. You two trees have grown up so close together, it's no wonder you're best friends. But it got me thinking, what are you supposed to do when one of you moves far away? Ah, uh, yes. I have a friend like that. We were acorns together, but the wind blew him across the forest. Now, when I miss him, I just send him a few leaves to let him know how I'm doing. And so, Andromeda, that's how I got the idea to write you a letter. I hope this works for you. Write me back, will ya? Reading letters will make us feel like we're still close together. It'll be like nothing's changed. Warmest regards, your friend, Tilly Green. P.S. I anxiously await your reply. Dear Tilly, it's so good to hear from you. I've never gotten my own mail before. This is perfect. Letters are much better than email. The E stands for evil. Things have been good here, and I've been keeping busy. Really busy. I actually got a job recently at the Museum of Cryptozoology. It's great being able to put my expertise to good use. Plus, I'm great with the visitors. Are you interested in lizard people? Yes. Would you like to know more? Yes. Keep your guard up! They're listening to everything you say! Hey, kid, I told you before, stop freaking out our visitors! You don't even work here! Uh, sir, she is not affiliated with us! Okay, so technically, I'm a volunteer. Oh, by the way, I ran into Kiki, Benny, and Wheezy the other day. Hey, guys! I see you've met Goat Girl. Isn't she cool? 50% goat, 50% girl, 100% awesome! She has to live in the big city dump because society doesn't accept her, even though she's a lot like us. She's not like us. She's weird. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just look at her. What's wrong with being weird? I don't know. Weird stuff is gross. And gross stuff is weird. That doesn't even make sense. Go Girl is just misunderstood. Maybe if people took the time to get to know her, they would see that. I don't know. Cryptids give me the creep tits. I agree. They just don't belong here. That's it! They're all banned for life! For the last time, you can't ban people! You don't work here! Get out! They just don't get it. They saw something that was different and automatically assumed it was bad. But Tilly, you get that weird can be awesome. 
And that's one of the 358 reasons I love being your friend. I miss you so much. That's 18 O's and counting in solidarity Andromeda. P.S. My mom signed me up for piano lessons. I'm a really fast learner. We should go find the Big City Go Girl and start a band with her. <laughs> oh. Thanks for coming, everybody. Remember, everyone is essential in this mission. If one of us fails, we all fail. On a lighter note, I'd like to thank our very own Remy for supplying these fancy schmancy earpieces. Ooh. You're welcome, Cricket. Over and out. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. The beehive is guarded by two grown-ups, Dad and Grandma. Wait, don't forget Mama. Right. Anyway, Mom's doing chores at her trailer, so she won't be a problem. But Dad's guarding the honey, and he won't let anyone nearby. Bark, 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 bark. Then there's Grandma. Not only does she got eyes on Dad, hmm. she's got needle-sharp reflexes. That's intense. So what do we do? I've assigned each of us a job, and Remy, you're the mole. <laughs> like an undercover informant? Nope, even better. An actual mole. <laughs> Fooled you, huh? This is just an RC car in disguise. I named him Molly. If there's one thing that can pull Dad away from the hive, it's chasing a farm pest. Okay, Remy, you'll drive Molly past my dad. <gasps> Not on my farm, you don't. Get back here! My dad will go through heck and high water to keep critters off the farm. Clever Mole. I'll catch you! And once he's out of sight, that sweet nectar is nested nevermore. That's brilliant, but what about your grandma? No problemo, Remy, because that's where Tilly comes in. I'm gonna put Grandma down for a nap. <clears throat> the stacks are in place. Huh? What the? Did someone leave the gate open? How many sheep got out? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, it. how many sheep do we have? Nine, ten, twenty-two, ooh, forty-seven. Tilly Bo Peep has put Grandma to sleep. Then with Dad and Grandma preoccupied, I'll break into the hive. But what about the two-person lock? You can't do it by yourself. I have it under control! <laughs> so, don't worry about it. Ain't no two-person lock keeping out all cricket. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, you're a thirsty one, aren't you? <laughs> Something wrong, Mama? Yeah, um, Tilly, I know how much you love animals, but I'm concerned about that thing. Thing? His name is Sylvester. He's a Virgo. Right, okay, Sylvester. Um, I know you think he's your friend, but he's only interested in your blood. Oh, Mama, Sylvester is sticking around because we've bonded. This is what genuine friendship looks like. Whoa. On an unrelated note, I'm feeling hot-headed. Okay, we need to get back to the boat. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, man, those swiss shakes taste even better on the way up. Well, I hope you're not too tired, because I have one last surprise. Wait here, and no peeking. I won't. <laughs> okay, you can look. <gasps> you rented a jet ski! That's right. And you're driving! Seriously? Oh, this is the best. Nothing can spoil this perfect day. Bill! Hey, Bill! Get the first aid kit ready! What are you waiting for, Cricket? I need someone to pull me! Bill! Bill! Huh? Someone need my help? Cricket, is something bad happening? The fun stops if anyone's in trouble. Oh, no. That doesn't sound like my chill dad. That sounds like my bill dad. Oh, but Mom and Tilly need help. I gotta do something quick. I swear, I hear someone calling for me. Ooh. You know, inner tubing is way more fun when you're listening to music. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, and these are noise canceling, so you won't be able to hear anything suspicious or dangerous. Did you say something? That's the spirit. Be right back. <sighs> oh. Hey, Mom, here you go. Sorry about that. I know you'll do great on your own. Gotta ride the jet ski. Bye. You're the only adult on the lake today, Nance. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Good work, Cricket. You get to help your family and have fun with your dad. <laughs> 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 
Come on, get in there. Jeez, this thing got in super deep. You see, Mama? Trials and tribulations have only made our friendship grow stronger. Honey, I hate to break it to you, but this is a literal parasite. If I were to remove dear Sylvester, no doubt he would come right back to me. Observe. Ooh. Show her, Sylvester. <gasps> Sylvester, after everything we went through? I'm sorry, Shug. Some friends only stay around as long as they get something out of it. And they just leave you feeling drained. We are going to the hospital on the way home. <laughs> Okay up there? <laughs> you don't need to worry about anything. I just uh wanna try a solo trick real quick. <laughs> BRB! Ready! Grab my hand! I got you! Now jump on! Okay! So nice to see the boys having fun next to that giant watery vortex. <sighs> Just stop the truck. I didn't. Not sure what to... Oh, out of gas. Probably should have filled up after driving around the city all day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll call your mother. Hmm? Huh. We're exactly halfway between Big City and Smolton. Fate has stranded us perfectly balanced between two worlds. Hey, y'all! Mama to the rescue! So, how was Big City? It sure was wonderful seeing all our friends again. And it was fun being with Grandma and Remy. But leaving felt tingly and complicated. Yeah, being back in Big City, it almost felt like... Being, being home. home. I'm really happy we're living in the country again, but... The lights, the sights, all our friends. I guess we're realizing just how much we miss Big City. But that's crazy, right? I mean, we're country folk. We belong in the country. At least I thought we did. Well, I know I'm meant to live in the country. I miss the peace and the stillness, the open spaces and fresh air. Oh, it's been amazing. I feel as if I'm meant to live in the country. But that's me. What I'm hearing from y'all is that maybe your home has changed. Well, I love Big City, but I love the country, too. We're stuck in a conundrum, Mama. There's no way for us to live in both places. Maybe there is. Maybe I am meant to live in the country to keep the farm running. And if I did that, y'all could move back to Big City with your grandma. Well, so what what's that now? Think about it. We still have the country farm, and you could still live in Big City. Then you and the kids could go back and forth whenever you wanted. We'd actually get to live in both our homes? Are you messing with us? Please, I'm too vulnerable to be messed with. I'm not messing. I mean, of course, your father would have to be okay with it. Uh, yeah, Nance, I'm okay with it. <laughs> you big lug. So, what does this 
just make us. What do you mean? I mean, now that everything's working out, we'll be able to have all sorts of adventures in Big City and the country. So, are we country folks in the city or city folks in the country? Well, we're the Greens. And all our problems are solved. Woo! Woo! Woo!